Hi, Father Ian Van Heusen here. So one of the things I've been considering a lot lately is when to use guided meditations, when to use spiritual reading in your meditation periods. Now, I'll just be honest with you straight up that when I started first started doing holy hours, doing mental prayer meditation, this was before I'd done any research or I really had done a lot of reading. I would just sit and think before the Blessed Sacrament. It was very spontaneous for me from pretty much day one. Now, I, of course, I would read the Bible. I would pray the Liturgy of the Hours. This was before I was in seminary and even into seminary. But for me, that hour of mental prayer meditation was very spontaneous. And so early on, when I was first teaching on mental prayer meditation, I thought, you know, everybody could benefit from this more spontaneous approach to mental prayer meditation. But what I'm finding, actually, is that some personalities really do better with structures and they really do better with that spiritual reading in the holy hour. And what I found is, is there's kinds of three kinds of people, two of which I think can benefit from spiritual reading that helps them connect with the presence of the Lord in their holy hour. Um, one group that folks, you know, broad generalization here, where, yeah, they have a lot of imagination, they have a lot of creativity, but they don't necessarily have enough doctrine or enough dogma or enough spiritual insights to really use their creativity well. They need to be a little bit more grounded in scripture, a little bit more grounded in the tradition to really have a true spiritual creativity. So that group of folks can benefit, maybe not in the holy hour always all the time, but at least doing some spiritual reading. And we should all be doing some spiritual reading. But that can be one group of folks. The other group of folks that could you benefit from spiritual reading are those folks who don't have a lot of creativity on their own. You know, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Some people have a lot of creativity. I tend to be kind of like artistic type, always thinking up ideas, always thinking. So for me, when I approach a holy hour, to come up with things to think about is not particularly difficult. But for some people, they may lack a bit, a bit of creativity. So they could use those guided meditations and they could use those spiritual reading to help kind of prime the pump, if you will, to get them thinking about the Lord and thinking about the pious reflections that help them connect with the presence of the Lord. And then finally, there's that third group, and if you're in this group, you're like me, which they don't really need a whole lot of uh, insight to just jump into the holy hour. They can just be creative and spontaneous right from day one. And you know, there's no better or worse. I think the key is we have to just recognize, what do I need? How, how do I need to grow? So consider that. Consider where, where you might fall on that spectrum. And consider if you're struggling with your holy hour, if you need some spiritual insight, maybe taking some spiritual reading into your holy hour, things like abandonment to divine providence or pious reflections or, or daily reflections. There's a whole tons of things that can help you. And of course, scripture as well, but trying to fill your insight, fill your mind with beautiful thinking, then in this way you can move from the structure to the creative. And just keep in mind, of course, as we conclude this video, the structures, the set meditations are to help you move towards the spontaneous. So when you feel called to that spontaneous, more intuitive connection with the Holy Spirit, move with that. Be willing to set aside the spiritual reading, the structures, to connect with the presence of the Lord. Amen.